Welcome back, this is Yamachak, and today we got Gunslinger Hotel Z Suicidal. I just got a comment from uh, from one of y'all who said that I play a lot of KF2, and uh, can't deny that. How much? How many hours do I have in KF2 at this moment, actually? ymjc.me slash steam. That's the, uh, the URL to my Steam games tab thing. Uh, 623 hours in, in Killing Floor 2 now, so it's not actually that much. I don't want to play that much of it, but... I'm, I'm, pr I'm probably, I'm probably one, I mean, I, 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 guess, I guess I'll put it this way, probably, uh... There ain't many people out there playing it as consistently as me, anyway. Lots of people with more hours than me, but I don't know if, uh... Of too many people who play two games a day, every single day, for, like, months. You know, a year coming up on soon. Probably, probably not too many people uh, in that kind of a category. So, oh my god, I'm like just so bad when I'm tired. Um, but you also, uh, you also included in that comment that uh, I should play uh, endless with randoms, which that sounds like a pretty good idea. Because the thing is, is that endless rat matches um, are fun with more people, because you get a lot more Zeds and you get people kind of like working together and stuff. Um, I don't think I do like, you know, Killing Pool Endless or, or anything like that, like those, you know, typical 100 person uh, Endless things, because they're just not very interesting, honestly. They're fun as a, as a player, but for, for content that you've watched, I think that it's highly not interesting. Um, just because like, you know, I'd, I'd just stand there and spam rhino shots into the, the mix to, to get a whole bunch of kills and assists and stuff and pull out the deagles for the big boys and stuff and we'd get overwhelmed and then kite around and I'd probably end up dying because um, you know medics in, in endless matches like that typically suck because uh, there's you know 70 people and one medic <laughs> it's not really a good ratio usually um, so but, uh, yeah, playing on, like, a nuked endless or something of that nature could be pretty fun, I think. So it was, it was a good idea that I'm, I'm going to be taking advantage of. Not today, obviously, because um, I, I don't have the, the capacity, the mental capacity to handle, like, a potentially three-hour-long time investment of recording. Which is what it could be if we played uh, nuked endless. Um, I've, I've, uh, I've done that a few times, you know, nuked, burning Paris, hello, um, something like that, you know, and, uh, it goes on for, like, three, four hours of, uh, of time. Um, it's, it's fun from time to time, you know, to, to play those, but, uh, you gotta be, like, prepared for it, you know, like, I'm not right now, you have, you have to make sure that you don't have to use the washroom, that you're gonna be, um, you have like water nearby, but uh, not too much. Um, and then uh, you know, you're not going to be getting hungry, you're having to take a break. You're not going to have to, you know, shut down your computer. You're not going to have responsibilities. Have to leave. Like, there, there's it's a there's there's a setup process involved in it, and uh, you can take a quick break to use the washroom or something if you really have to. Uh, if you have uh, party members that can handle that. Um, you know, tip typically what you'd want to do is you'd want to help out with a wave up until like right about the end, you know, and then you'd want to go and use the washroom while they protect you with uh, without getting you know hounded too badly, and then you would uh, you know go use the washroom, come back, hopefully still alive by the end of uh, you know nearing the end of the trader wave area, you know, and uh, re refill your ammo and all that, and then yeah, you'd, you'd be safe, oh, yeah. um, but it's 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 a risky thing, and uh, if you're playing with randoms, it's, it's hard to kind of coordinate that, um, so typically what I'd, I'd do is I'd um, just, like, go use the washroom right at the start of the trader wave, I'd, like, get myself to the trader before the end of the wave, as soon as the the trader wave starts, I'd uh, you know refill my ammo, 
and then go use the washroom quickly, you know, wash your hands and all that. Like, you're usually going to be coming back during the wave, but hopefully only like maybe 10, 20 seconds have passed and, and you might have a chance of being alive still. So you, you really just ideally want to hopefully not have to use the washroom during it because it's, it's an investment. Anyway, I, I, I just I don't have the time for that right now because I'm, I'm recording this and then going to sleep, so... Um, but it's a nice idea anyway. I like it. I'll do it. I don't know when. I don't know, because again, I'm not, I'm not sure when I'll be willing to make that kind of an investment of time. Um, honestly, what it'll probably end up being is I'll just record as per usual, and then whenever I feel like it, I'll, uh, I'll do that, and it'll just kind of get tossed in as an episode somewhere. Is, uh, is probably what will happen, because, um... I'd want it to be a good endless thing, like, I wouldn't want to try for it, you know? I wouldn't want to be trying and having, I don't know, I guess maybe I would. She shoots, she kills. But, uh... Kill that I don't know. Cow. I don't know. I'm, I'd, have to, I'd have to think about how I'd want to handle it. But, um... Chances are pretty high, like, you don't often get a team when you play with randoms that's gonna go for, like, three, four hours. You usually get a team that's going to go for like a half an hour to 40 minutes, maybe. Don't usually get somebody who's going for three hours. On nukes, I can go for three hours by myself. Um, like, I can solo that. I can carry. But, uh, yeah, t typically you're not going to get somebody, like a team that's going to go for that long on uh, on a map. Lost the area. Where are we going? Back down. So, you know, it's not, it's not like you really have to worry. But if you do get it, you don't want to leave, right? You want to make sure that you're prepared for that, so. Come and get your tools but it's a nice idea. I liked it. I liked it. I gave you the heart. I gave everybody a heart. I gave everybody that I, uh, I have time to a heart, anyway. I always try to. I feel like it's the least I can do as, as the creator, you know? At least say, like, hey, I saw this, you know? I read it. I didn't have the time or motivation to maybe necessarily think of a reply. I did reply to this one. But I don't necessarily have the motivation or time to think of a reply and, like, go over it. Because the thing is, is, is as a as a YouTuber, I have to, like, think about my replies. You know what I mean? Like, when I when I leave a reply on something, it's not like I just, like, say something that I, I like. I, I, uh, I have to think about, like... How I'm gonna word it so that it's not gonna come off as rude, or um, something like that. And how do I uh, how do I respond in a way that uh, you know, ten years down the line, people aren't gonna be looking at this comment being like, "Hey, you know, you shouldn't have said it like that. You should have said it like this." Cancelled, you know. Like it's uh, it's not like a big deal, right? Like it's it's a pretty mild thing. You know, I'll, I'll typically write a comment, be like, ah, I don't really like the way I kind of like worded it like that. I'll change it. Be like, alright, that's good. It's, you know. But it, it, it is a, a little bit of an extra investment, and it, it does kind of dissuade me from, from leaving comments from time to time. When uh, when I see somebody who leaves a comment, and I'm like, I just can't really think of a way I'd want to, like, respond to that that's not going to seem rude. Because, um, you know, what you said was uh, wrong or something, you know? was something that I wouldn't necessarily agree with or something, you know? And it's like, I'm okay with with celebrating our differences, but I don't really want to spend, you know, a minute here thinking about how I'm going to write that in a comment without seeming like I'm being condescending or something. And it's like, I just, uh... I'll just heart it. <laughs> I'll just heart it and carry on. So I don't, uh, you know, I, I, I might come across as rude at times, for sure. I, I definitely do. It's it's part of the uh, part of the whole autism thing, you know. I um, I come across as rude all the time, unintentionally. And I uh, when I when it's brought to my attention, I'm sincerely, you know, sorry for it, and I apologize, and we make up, and we're still friends, and it's a mistake and an accident, and you know, it happens. But I uh, I, I typically try to mean well. I, I typically try to mean well. Sometimes I don't, okay? Sometimes I'm rude because I want to be rude, okay? Like, if I talk about anti-vaxxers, I will be rude because they don't deserve respect. But some things do deserve respect, even though I might not necessarily agree with it, you know? Like, for instance, religion I've talked about recently. Um, 
you know, um, political beliefs, that kind of stuff. You know, like, we might not necessarily agree, but I don't think that it's, uh, I don't think it necessitates any kind of hostility. But, but talking about it is, is, is still sometimes a, a tricky thing to do without coming across, you know, as, uh, as disrespectful. And that, that goes for so many things, like, um, stances on any kind of political issue or cultural, societal issues, like, anything. And, uh, extends to, to many aspects even outside of that, just like, if somebody says something that you're kind of like, I don't really want to agree with that, and I don't really want to, like, disagree with it, and I just kind of ignore it. I'm feeling generous. Anyway. I liked the idea with the, uh, the endless... Uh, just like finding an endless game online and just playing in that that sounds like fun I love I love doing that like normally I don't play KF2 for fun anymore anyway but um, back when I did um, and that's kind of like a weird thing because I'm gonna be like continuing to make KF2 videos for like ever I'm probably never gonna play KF2 for fun again it's it like I used to come back to killing floor every so often and kind of have it like be my new fixation and be obsessed with it for a while it's probably never gonna happen again because i just I'm never gonna stop playing it so i'm never gonna have to like come back and be fixated on it again which is weird and like it kind of affects me in some ways and i don't know how it's gonna change like my rotation of games that i get obsessed with but whatever it's all good anyway i don't really play kf2 for fun anymore but when i did i loved playing random endless matches with people it was fun you know it was good good fun so i might uh i might give that a try sometime soon i definitely will I just don't know if it will be sometime soon. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. And subscribe to see more of the future comments. If you have anything to say, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm going to bed. And I guess good night. Not bye-bye.